What's going on, Port fans? Welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we're going to be talking about Miles Bergman and his future with Port Adelaide. Obviously, he's in contract talks at the moment, but I want to talk about why Port Adelaide must sign him uh, as a, an integral part of the future for this team and, and what role he's going to play um, to ensure that this club has future success because he's going to be a key part of what looks to be uh, a pretty bright future for the young brigade at Port. Um, and with Ken Hinckley at the helm at the moment, and plenty to play out in 2023. He's going to play a very important part for this year, but then also looking to the future to see what happens. So let's get right into it and talk why Port Adelaide need to sign Miles Bergman. Look, out of all the players on the list um, that are a must sign for Port, um, and you can go through a wide variety. Um, you know, you speak of Mitch Georgiata, some of the senior players, Dixon, Boak, um, you know, but they, those players will get signed, you know, the senior blokes with Dixon and Boke and, and going through that list, Jed McIntyre as well, I think is, is another one that will get another contract. And you look at some of the, the blokes that are a borderline delisting or I could get a lifeline uh, somewhere else who just have to wait and see. But, um, you know, you look at Bergman, you look at George Artis as two key signings that Port Adelaide need to make this year. Um, and, and people will have their opinions on George Artis. But I'm talking about Miles Bergman. I think he's my number one to sign for Port. He's just such a, a valued player in this team now. He's played every game in 2023 so far. He had an injury riddled 2022, but his back half of the year was really, really uh, impressive. He obviously debuted in 2021, round one, um, and was on the list in 2020. The number 14 pick in the 2019 draft. Um, you know, he was the follow-up first rounder pick after the Rosie Butters and Dersma um, drafting uh, the year before and obviously it's taken a little bit for him to get going but 2023 has been his year he's built like a, a very very versatile player he's very athletic um, and he's proven that with many uh, contributions across each game this year especially during um, the, you know, the wins and um, the, the 11 game winning streak run at the moment uh, coming into the bye so I think his improvement has been next level and one that's certainly been noticed and I think a lot of clubs around the country at the moment in the in the league are very much taking notice of his situation and obviously being a Victorian you're going to have a lot of Victorian players looking at uh, sorry Victorian clubs and they're going to be playing in in that aspect with his contract and seeing what they can get um, and I, I do think Port Adelaide are going to play very much a hardball game with Miles if he does decide to leave Port um, I think the, you know there's going to be a lot of value with his name and and. and especially the, the potential value he's going to have in the future. You don't want to throw him away lightly and you definitely want to do everything you can to keep him. I do want to talk about the player that is Miles Bergman and the player that uh, he's become that's why he's so important to sign. Like he's a he's a versatile athletic player. He can play in any position you put in. Um, he can play on the wing, play in the midfield, he can play half forward, he can play as a tall backman, a small backman. He has so much versatility. He is the, the future Justin Westhoff of this team and um, I think him alongside Jeremy Finlayson have shaped what um, so many roles you can play as a player. The duality of uh, Miles Bergman is, is so important to his game as well. He can be flexible with the way he plays. I think there's a couple of moments this year where I thought he was really, really important. Um, and I, I look at you know round seven against St Kilda. I look at uh, round eight against Essendon. You know, he's in the intercept marking in key moments to keep the game together and keep Port Adelaide in the game and in the contest in those situations uh, were very, very important. And then you look at the game just recently against Geelong where he played on Jeremy Cameron. And his game went so unnoticed. He only had the six touches and a couple of marks, but they were integral. Um, his, his positioning and um, his moments to touch the footy and, and just his calmness and um, his willingness to get the ball, be in that position... He's second to none, and I think that's the biggest improvement he's had in his game. And you know that game against Jeremy Cameron, he kept him very minimal impact. He he just had a full on one on one contest with with Cameron the whole night, and was able to shut him down. Like it was a a really really great shut down performance, and and that's another key factor about him is he's a very good one on one player. He can. Uh, position himself really, really well, and um, he he makes a, a very, very good impact on contests, and can also make space. So, to have that versatility in a player like Miles is is he sort of molds what the the uh, the modern day player is and what the future player is going to be, and that's that very tall, athletic, 
strongly built player that can play in multiple positions. He can be a midfielder. And as I said, he can be a defender, whatever he can be. He's built well, and he has the athletic ability of the footballer that we all want. Um, and I think all the you know, the drafting crew and um, the recruitment teams at each club and the football departments, they look for the player like Miles is, is becoming because that's the future of the AFL. And he's a generational player in a sense that um, he can be that. He can be the mould of what's going to be the next AFL player. So we talk about his situation and we talk about what's available for him. Now, he's obviously Victorian. He's going to look, uh, go back home across the bar, look at his situation and see what he can um, decide. Obviously, it's a big decision. You're at the crossroads of not your career, but also the, the, you're at a, a part of your career where making the choice now to go home and stay home for the rest of your footballing career is a choice and players very easily can make that decision. Obviously, we look at someone like Travis Boak back in um, you know the early 200, 2010s where he made the choice to stay. He was willing to stay and, and put it out with Port Adelaide. And um, I think his situation now, Miles, is does he want to be that player for Port Adelaide? We're obviously in a very good position in 2023. What does he see in the future? The club's going to be led by you know, quite a, a number of young guys now with... Um, with Rosie, with Butters, Dersmas there, and they're going to look to be that integral part, and they're going to be that core young group that's going to come through um, with with him. And if he stays, he's going to be a very, very important factor for Port in the future. I just know that with Miles, that decision is going to be very, very hard to make because when you have a go home factor that's so easily available, yeah, in a team that's in a situation where one, it can win a premiership, but also you've seen what the team has done in the past to suggest this won't last forever. We could turn around and end up finishing 10th next year. Like that is, um, you know, that's a, a very big what if for Miles at the moment. And, um, you know, Port Adelaide does have an offer on the table. Um, I'm, I'm hearing it's quite substantial, which is good. Hopefully it's a, it's a long-term four to five year deal. You lock him down. He's going to be an integral part of that future of the club, whether Ken Hinckley's there um, after winning a flag maybe in 2023 or whether or not he's done enough for himself to continue on into next year. That's another thing. Does Miles have consistency with Port Adelaide? Is he wanting to be here if there's going to be a new coach next year? With that situation, it doesn't play a big part because you, you want to become a part of the club. You you know how well we've treated our players and our retention rate at Port Adelaide is really, really good. We've kept a lot of key personnel across the years and um, have been very, very good in making those decisions in who to get rid of and who to keep. And I think that's played really, very nicely for what we have at the moment. And I personally really want Miles to be that. I want him to be an integral part of this team. I love him. I think he's a fantastic player. I've stated the reasons why he's so good and so important. But I just think you know, he, he just looks like a Port Adelaide player. He looks like he belongs with this football club uh, for a long period of time. And yeah, he's just been a sensational part of 2023 so far. So, Paul fans, let me know what you think about Miles Bergman and his current contract situation going into the year. He must be kept at Port Adelaide. It's as simple as that. Looking at his stats this year, you know, your stats aren't everything for Miles. I don't think he's not, not a big possession getter. He's a role player. He's a very key counterpart into what we are building in our game plan. You, know, you look at his disposals, 14.5 disposals on average. He's averaging 5.5 marks a game, You know, 3.5 yeah, rebound 50s as well. Um, you know he's he's tackling. He's averaging two and a half a game and averaging as well two point two intercept marks per game. Um, when it comes to it, that is probably one of the more important things. We have a Lear Lear that does that really really well, uh, and Miles is another one. But he's done that higher up the ground. He's done that deep in defence. I think it's time that um, Port Adelaide make a stand. If there's one player to keep. It's Miles Bergman. So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, Port fans. We'll wait and see on this one, but hopefully Miles puts pen to paper and we can see a big future with him at Port Adelaide. Thank you so much for watching, Port fans. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide and AFL content to come your way. If you're an AFL fan and you're watching to see some Port content, check out the glass table uh, as well to get your footy fix and AFL fix. Very, very funny episode this week, so make sure you jump on board um, and watch the latest episode with me and JT. Um, and other than that, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Round 16 coming up very, very soon. My name is Anthony. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, come there.